This is the Leah Petrol Chainsaw, a chainsaw with power. Later on, we will show you the power and deployment possibilities of the Leah Chainsaw. The box contains the petrol motor unit, saw chain, chain cover, guide bar, clutch cover with brake system, the manual, handy tool kit which includes a round file, spark plug wrench, allen wrench, screwdriver, and the spike bumper. First, we attach the spike bumper included in the tool kit. Attention! The marker on the spike bumper needs to point upwards. Screw the bolts into the motor unit. Tighten it firmly with the Allen wrench. Remove the clutch cover nuts and keep them within reach. Then place the saw chain on the drive sprocket. If assembled correctly, you will feel it fall in place when you turn it. Attention! The points of the cutting links need to face towards the top end of the bar, otherwise the machine will not saw. Take the guide bar and fit it over the bar bolts on the motor unit. Then place the saw chain into the bar groove. Keep the tension on the chain by pulling the guide bar towards the front. Mount the clutch cover making sure that the chain adjuster pin falls in hole in the bar. If the pin is not exactly in the correct position, adjust it with the screwdriver. After hearing everything click into place, you can screw on the clutch cover nuts. Don't tighten them firmly. First, we need to adjust the saw chain to the correct tension. Keep the tip of the blade in the upwards position and adjust the saw chain tension with the screwdriver. Use the spark plug wrench to tighten it firmly. This is the correct chain tension. Now we'll fill her up with two-stroke gasoline and chain oil. First, we remove the filler cap, vent the tank, and start filling. Close it up, and we'll fill the oil reservoir. Fill it until it's almost full. For safe storage and transportation, you slide the chain cover over the guide bar. Now it's time to show you the power of the Leah Petrol Chainsaw. Turn the motor switch to the ON position. Depress the pump until you feel resistance. Pull out the choke handle and push the chain brake to the front so the saw chain is unable to run and we can safely start. The motor will attempt to start but won't. This is when you push back the choke and pull the starter rope again until it starts. Pull back the chain brake and the Leah chainsaw is ready to go. You can see how quickly the saw chain stops when the chain brake is activated. Okay, now the fun part begins. Let's get started. It takes only a few seconds to cut this log. This high performance quality chainsaw is very well priced. See for yourself, it's so easy. When a sharp chain is used, no force or major effort is necessary. This chainsaw will do the heavy work for you. The images speak for themselves. Oops, forgot our safety visor. Hope you missed that. After a coffee break, the engine will still be warm enough to start without using the choke. Just turn the engine switch in the on position. Push the chain brake towards the front and pull the cord to start again. Pull back the chain brake and you can continue. 
the Lea chainsaw can be deployed for a wide variety of jobs. You can sharpen your chainsaw without buying extra tools. The Lea chainsaw comes equipped with the file you need. Choose a log and make a saw cut, not too deep. Before you start filing, you need to remove as much oil from your chain as possible. You can do this by turning off your engine at full throttle after your guide bar has completely disappeared into the log. Loosen the chain lock and tighten the chain, taking up the slack. Tighten some more. This is what we need, as little slack as possible. Position the guide bar into your previously made saw cut and you can start sharpening. Find the tooth with the most damage. This tooth is the reference to the other teeth and the amount of strokes you need to file. Now back to work with a nice sharp chain. Leah, the best choice for your garden.